And now we turn to the entertainment world. More than 450 Jewish industry professionals have signed an open letter slamming Jonathan Glazer for those outrageous remarks at the Academy Awards. The British director accepting the Oscar for Best International Film for his Holocaust movie Zone of Interest last week, using the stage to call for a ceasefire in Gaza and refuting his Jewishness, saying the Holocaust had been hijacked by an occupation that has led to conflict for so many innocent people. Now, the letter in response from these Jewish actors and celebrities reads in part, quote, we refute our Jewishness being hijacked for the purpose of drawing a moral equivalence between a Nazi regime that sought to exterminate a race of people and an Israeli nation that seeks to avert its own extermination. Well said. So now for more reaction, we welcome American actor and comedian Michael Rappaport. He joins us live from New York. Michael, thank you so much for your time. Such an important issue. You are one of the actors who signed this letter. So to start, as a Jewish actor who has visited Israel more than once since this war started, who has been to the scene of the massacre on the 7th of October, how did it feel to hear those words from Jonathan Glazer while accepting an award for his movie, about the Holocaust, your reaction? You know, for me, it was a, it was offensive. Um, it was um, so disrespectful. It was embarrassing for him, not for us as Jewish people, not for everybody watching as Israeli people. Um, it was it was it was an embarrassment. It was an embarrassment, and for him to say that on a night where nobody else mention the word Jewish, Israel, or more important, hostages, for that to be the one time that it was brought up and in that way for him to re refute his Jewishness uh, was, uh, was an embarrassment. It was an embarrassment and he should be embarrassed and his family should be embarrassed. And the, the, the one thing uh, that, that's good is he, he made a film, a Holocaust film, and majority of the audience is gonna be a Jewish audiences. So now I hope uh, that the audiences refute watching it when it comes out on uh, streaming services. Well, talking about audiences, what did you make of the response from the audience at the Oscars? The applause, and then of course, all those people wearing red pins calling for a ceasefire, no mention, as you say, of the hostages, when it comes to the fate of the hostages still held captive by terrorists for more than five months. Of course, there were some people wearing yellow ribbons supporting the hostages, but for the most part, you know what you saw, tell us more. It, 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 the whole award season has been disappointing. Um, you know, these are my um, co-workers. These are my friends in, in Hollywood, in show business. And historically, actors specifically speak out about everything, from Marlon Brando speaking out about Native Americans to, uh, you know, women's rights to LGBTQ to Black Lives Matter to, you know, penguins, trees, and everything else for nobody the entire award season, Oscars, Golden Globes, to say one word about the hostages for these younger actors and actresses uh, to not say anything about it, for the older ones to not say anything about it. It, it was it was embarrassing to me. It was disappointing to me. Um, and the, the, the red pins, these are just people that are misinformed and, and don't understand even the, 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 the stance that they're taking and, and how disrespectful that was. The whole thing was... It has been really disappointing to me. All of it has been crap. And I'm trying not to curse because I think we're on live. You are on live and disappointing certainly is the word. But let's take a look at the reasons. Why has this celebrity world, this Hollywood elite, for want of a better phrase, for the most part, not been supportive of the plight of the hostages. Everybody wants to see peace, of course, but the hostages, and we've been talking about this in studio now, they include a baby. The hostages include peace activists in their 80s. Why do you think there hasn't been this outrage or condemnation that these civilians were taken out of their homes, abducted from a music festival? Why the deafening silence from the celebrity world? Because it's Jews, because it's Israel, um, because people are scared, people are uneducated, miseducated, and, and people are scared. And, you know, my Jewish community of actors who have made careers uh, playing into the beautiful, fun, 
stereotypes that we all love and we all enjoy, um, um, they're top of the top of the the uh, the disappointment list. Um, you know, I think people are freaked out, but I think um, you know, non-Jews. There's a lot of anti-Semitism. There's a lot of anti-Jewishness. There's a lot of anti-Israelness. There's a lot of anti-Zionist uh, 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 stuff being thrown around out there, and, and, and people. Um, they're scared. They're scared. They're 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 scared and dumb. I I, I just put it in plain terms. They're scared, and 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 fucking dumb. Well, Oops. you're back again in Israel soon. Talk us through the impact of these trips for you personally. How important is it for people to come here and see for themselves firsthand, like you did? For me, the trips that I've had to Israel have. I think been life changing. It's hard to say that now because I'm we're still in it. Um, I've met, talked to so many incredible people. Um, the anguish, the heartbreak, the confusion, the demoralization um, that the hostage families are still going through, the anguish, the heartbreak, the trauma that the survivors, that the IDF soldiers and their families are going through um is why i do what i do why i talk why i talk and and for jewish people um the trips i, I am coming back and the trips have been they've been they've been very impactful to me you know this whole time has been very very impactful to me um and i uh i i'm you know just um you know i i it's it's hard to it's hard to Articulate all of it, you know, um, my first and foremost, I just want to continue to, to send love, prayers, thoughts, strength, the kitchen sink to, to, to all the families, all the friends of, of people that are still uh, captive in, in Gaza, because I think about them all day, all day and, and every day. And uh, I wish there was something that I could do, uh, but I just want them to know that um, aside from what they see on social media, you know, people are sending loves, people from New York are sending love. Uh, all the time. Very briefly, one of the difficult issues to process around this is the fact that Hamas filmed for themselves, the terrorists filmed the atrocities on the 7th of October, and yet you've got movie makers sitting in Hollywood questioning what happened. You've got people around the globe denying what happened, questioning the authenticity of what happened when it was filmed by the attackers themselves. Very briefly, do you think it's important for people around the globe to actually see, to take a look at that horrific footage, and believe me, it's horrific, to see for themselves, to believe? Watch the footage. It's still up there. You could go on YouTube, come to Israel, uh, see it for yourself, uh, talk to survivors, talk to victims, and um, and, and any anything further than that, you know, you're sick. If, if you need more proof than, th listen, we saw the footage. They filmed it themselves. They wanted to terrorize us. They wanted us to be freaked out. Um, they wanted chaos and confusion. And um, to be honest with you, if anybody's doubting what happened and the severity of what happened at this point, they are, there's just sick people who are just either sick, mentally sick, like literally have mental problems, or they're anti-Jewish, anti-Israel, uh, 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 or a combination of all of them. And and at this point, it, you, you know, you saw with your own eyes. Everybody has seen it with their own eyes. Uh, I don't need to see any more footage because I, I didn't need to see the 48 minutes of footage. And I'll remind people on that 48 minutes of footage that was shown to journalists and, and others, um, there was not one chant of 1948, rivers, sea, Palestine wasn't said. They didn't say the word Palestine. They laughed, they cheered, they said Allah Wakbar, they stomped on dead bodies, and they filmed themselves doing it. There was no hiding any of it. Michael Rappaport, live from New York, thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for being with us on I-24 News. This conversation will continue. Thank you. Anytime. I, I'm sending love to everybody.